my avenue for those of you who are visiting for the first time welcome my name is Madeline and for those of you who are returning visitors hi guys welcome back so I'm finally going to start my Ask M series. I got four questions. I want to thank you guys so, so much for your questions. And guys, please feel free to talk to me. Like a lot of people think I'm rude or the way my face looks is mean or something like that. That's why they don't approach me or they don't message me. But I really want you guys to feel free with me. I'm always here for you guys. Whatever the issue is, just let me know. And also, if you have any questions, like personal questions, or if you need an opinion on something, just ask me and I'll answer them on this Ask M series. Um, so yeah, let's get right into the questions. What is your opinion on girls dating certain guys for money? Um, so, I feel like it's really, really bad. And I know that a lot of girls do that these days, but I feel like it shouldn't be happening because like if you date someone with money like what's the point like there's no love there it's just the money and i feel like at a point in time it's going to catch up to you because if you feel like you're just using this person for his money what happens when he realizes that that's what you're doing like it's gonna be really really bad for you or i don't know why you would date a guy for money why can't you get your own money like What's the big deal? If you can get money, then why can't you get money? I feel like you're so careless about yourself that you really don't care. All you want is the money and you can't even provide that for yourself. Like, and at your age, like, well, I am 18, so I don't know about you guys, but at your age, I feel like you should still be able to be dependent on your parents. So whatever it is that you need that money for that he's giving you, your parents are there to provide it for you. Don't think you can start living lavish just because you've turned 18. Whatever it is that you need that money for, your parents can provide it for you. So do not date a guy just because of his money. It's just going to backfire one way or the other. Just don't, don't do it at all. Either go out and get a job or tell your parents that you need money. It's not that hard. It's really simple, trust me. So yeah, that's what I have to say on girls dating guys for money. Don't do it. What do you think of the sugar daddy trend in Lagos? Uh, <laughs> um, so I do not live in Lagos, so I didn't even know that there was a sugar daddy trend going on. But um, yikes, I don't know what do I think about it. I feel like, but well, the fact that <laughs> sugar daddy is trending, it honestly breaks my heart to see that girls at a young age are looking for or are chasing men that are really really old even if they're not chasing them they are at least listening to what it is that the older men have to say and guys before we go let me even check the definition of a sugar daddy because i have an idea about it but i just don't know what it means ah. guys i searched for sugar daddy and it showed me sugar daddy hotline number A rich older man who lavishes gifts on a young woman in return for her company or sexual favors nah 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 i feel like that trend just needs to die down like why would you at a young age be selling yourself to a guy that is way older old enough to be your dad like no don't do that please i beg of you what are we girls doing these days us as women i feel like we're in an age or we're in a generation where women are being empowered because of the amount of work they put into their business or the amount of time they spend doing what it is that they do like making money and things like that so i feel like if you're young and this is what you're doing at a young age like looking for older men to spend money on you and in return you sell them your body what will be said about women empowerment in like the next five years or ten years because literally the next generation so what will be said about women and women empowerment by the time we're older if we're doing this at a young age i feel like that trend just needs to die down us as women we need to get well i'm still a girl well i'm 18 at the moment us as women i feel like we need to get like start getting money one way or the other start doing what it is that we love to do and maybe by the time we grow older it's going to become a job and we're obviously going to make a lot of money from it so this sugar daddy trend it needs to die do you think it's possible for someone to remain friends with their ex and can you remain friends with your ex? I feel like it's very very possible for you to remain friends with your ex. I feel like 
you guys must have been friends before you guys started dating. So why can't you guys go back to being friends after you guys broke up? If you understand what I'm saying. Except if you guys broke up in harsh terms, so I would understand that. But if you guys broke up on good terms, then I feel like you guys should be able to at least be cordial around each other and be friendly. I feel like there should be a point where you guys, your friendliness stops. Like, you shouldn't get to go to the extreme, especially if you're seeing someone new. Basically, narrow down the amount of things you guys talk about and what it is that you guys talk about to each other. That's all I'm saying. What do you do if a boy you are doing things with wakes up one morning and tells you, oh yeah, you know, I just want to be friends? Shit, it's really simple. Do you, like, be friends. I feel like if someone should tell you something, like they don't like you anymore or they don't want to have anything with you anymore or they don't want to be with you anymore things like that i feel like it should be really easy if the guy should just tell me oh i feel like we should break up oh okay cool like that's it like i feel like it shouldn't really be a big deal I'd be friends with him but don't just start moping around the fact that oh you guys have been together blah blah, blah. when people say that whole um yeah, you can have time to grieve and things like that, but you're grieving while this guy putting himself out there, probably going to the gym every day, doing going like he's literally just carrying out his same routine even while you guys were doing whatever you guys were doing. So why would you want to now start moping around? Like, get back to work. Do you like be the best you can be? Start looking for things to do. Get involved in a lot of things that you're interested in. Like. Just leave him alone, not leave him alone, but he said you guys should be friends. I feel like you guys should be able to be friends, like be cordial and things like that. But at the same time, use whatever it is that wants to make you feel sad. Use it as a drive to make you better yourself so that the next guy won't tell you, oh yeah, I just want us to be friends. Instead, he would say, oh yeah, let's start getting exclusive or something like that. So yeah. Um, um, so yeah, those were all your questions. Thank you guys so, so much for your questions. Um, I hope you guys like this setting for the Ask M. I tried to make it look a little bit comfortable so we could all be comfortable instead of me just sitting down and just looking at you guys straight. Like, I don't like that thing at all. But yeah, you guys do not forget to ask me more questions if you have any personal questions, if you need an opinion on something. I'm here for you guys. Please, please, please ask me questions. So yeah, I will see you guys in my next Ask M series. Bye guys. Yeah.